be written as minus six. When you see the light go on, and the kids say that, what's that like as a teacher? Yeah. I don't know. But the kid looks at you and they say, I get it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And here, what we're now looking at. Is this you? That's me. What? Yeah. Well, I was younger. Yes, he was younger. He first started teaching in Kenya many years ago, and for more than a decade, he moved around, always teaching Chicago, Canada, Seattle, and then he found his own place. Excavation. This vein is enough to supply Bellabog with 231 days of energy, with a margin of error of 7 days. I sense that your reason for summoning me is not the war in question. State your true intention, Clara. Right. I wanted Mr. Spark to see that many miners and vagrants have gotten hurt because of the vein. Can you help them? I have already prevented the dispute and taken temporary control of the excavation zone. Evaluation result. In the event of no further variables, there will be no large-scale armed conflict within the next 30 days. I know why you did it, Mr. Sparog. It's just... I don't think it'll be enough. The mining team in wildfire. They don't understand your actions. If only we could do more for them. My mission is the protection of the underworld. The trust of the minority sample is redundant to my calculations. deviate from rational calculation, Clara. As evidenced by their presence here. We haven't settled our final score. Zila, subordinate to wildfire. Your resistance is futile. The result of my calculation is unequivocal. 
Remaining in the underworld is the optimal strategy for survival. Results, survival strategies. I haven't got time for your pieces. Withdraw your forces, or I'll lose my temper. Observe, Clara. Even under abject conditions, humans are unable to avoid division and conflict. Mr. Sparrow. Human failure to accept the calculation result is a significant threat to the survival strategy of the underworld. Calculation complete. Result unequivocal. Armed suppression of wildfire and their allies is the optimal course of action. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! Fight! A guest with no manners, try huh? hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! Everything's ordained by the stars. Oh, profound secrets of the stars! Give these trailblazers your blessing! I don't remember inviting you. <laughs> A gift from the stars! Let's go. Batter up! Clemency? Never heard of it. A guest with no manners, huh? Look out! Make it quick. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. 
I don't remember inviting you. <laughs> Told ya I could fight. With me out here, how can we lose? Let's go. Batter up! Clemency? Never heard of it. A guest with no manners, huh? Who's the lucky one today? The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! You have the worst luck running into me! Gotta try hard sometimes! Check out this awesome move! My turn! Give you a present! Everything is ordained by the stars. Oh, profound secrets of the stars! Give these trailblazers your blessing! Let's make it quick. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. Uh, rules are made to be broken! Clemency? Never heard of it. Lot, which is why Wildfire has never been able to take him down. Svarog's forces are too strong. We don't have enough firepower. Clara? Don't worry about her. That girl is best pals with Svarog. She's always following behind him. He wouldn't harm her. I guess I'm just used to seeing them together now, even if I don't understand it. Let's look for the chief. No need to look far. Nice work, Zelim. We were attacked on both sides by robots. Who knows where they came from? We thought we were in it for the long haul. <laughs> chief, is everyone okay? Is anyone injured? We're fine. We're used to it at this point. We sent those pesky robots and ragtag troops packing. The mine should be quiet for a while. And, uh, who are your friends here? Ah, them. They're outsiders that Sample brought down from who knows where. They need a favor from Wildfire, so I brought them with me. It'll be faster if they explain. <laughs> That's quite the tone to take on our first meeting. I won't forget you in a hurry. So, you went to all this trouble to find Wildfire. 
what help is it you need? <laughs> I didn't know you'd put on a show for the overworld, too. Impressive. <laughs> well, this is new. Wildfire can barely take care of the underworld. And now outsiders are looking for assistance from us. This Stellaron you speak of. Never heard of it. But if it's a secret that even we locals don't know about, then one name does come to mind. The current Supreme Guardian is a liar who uses sweet words to deceive the underworld. She's never cared about our survival. Stop right there. I won't allow you to insult the Madam Guardian. In this overworld, my words may be painful to you, but every one of them is true. Go out into the towns and hear for yourself. See how the people here suffer. I haven't gotten close to voicing the extent of the Underworld's grievances, young lady. But I will respect your request. I will leave it at that for now. Let's get back to the main topic. The name that came to my mind was Svarov. Huh? Isn't Svarov Wildfire's sworn enemy? Why would a mere robot in the Underworld have knowledge of important secrets? Sworn enemy. Not how I see it. The young master here is closer. Svarag is a cold, unfeeling machine. He recognizes only the dead reasoning of his calculations. Svarag is not against wildfire. Or perhaps I should say, wildfire isn't even of concern to him. That ancient robot witnessed the war. If you're looking to pick up a thread, he may well be your best source. Yeah, I remember hearing this world was invaded by the Legion hundreds of years ago. Robots don't forget. If Svarog hasn't heard of your Stellaron, then I'm afraid perhaps no one has. In which case, we need to think of a way to convince Svarog to communicate with us. Or get him to hand over his memory bank. We could go through it ourselves. <sighs> what should we do? We've tried repeatedly to negotiate with Svarog. But he rejects every effort. He believes that wildfire is a threat. Still, if it were... Mm, it's difficult to say. We have time. Let's get into the detail tomorrow. It's late, and you must have been through a lot. Go back to the town and rest. I'll make arrangements. Again? I'm starting to get nervous of arranged rest on this planet. As for our silver main girl here, do you have time? I'd like to talk with you in private.
source from here, too? Oh, you must be Oleg's guests. Welcome to the Gerda Grand Hotel. Fine. You aren't the first guest to have that reaction. A few hundred years ago, one ancestor of the Goethe family was ambitious and sought to build something big from nothing. Eventually, he actually did it. Have you seen that stylish Goethe hotel? Strictly speaking, it's a branch of this grand hotel. Oh, people with big dreams have big determination. Oleg wants me to take good care of y'all. Here's the key. You'll be staying in our most spacious guest room. What do you think? Should we go ahead and call it a day? Or walk around a bit more first? again. I hope there aren't any surprises this time. That Oleg, he seems sincere. What do you guys think? <sighs> Don't you have something cool to say? Like, appearances can be deceiving? I don't try to disagree. But if you ask for my opinion, it's better to be safe than sorry.
guards up. Our last hotel experience was eventful, to say the least. One of us should keep watch tonight. Uh, keep watch? Are we space cowboys now? I guess this is the Cosmic Wild West. <laughs> uh, anyone else sleepy? You seem pretty exhausted. Don't overexert yourself. I'll do it. I'll keep watch. Branya, did you finish talking to Oleg? Hope he didn't make things difficult for you. Not really. Though it wasn't the friendliest conversation. We didn't see eye to eye on everything. I've come to know a great deal in a short time. Doubt I'll be able to fall asleep tonight. I doubt I'll be able to sleep either. Not that I don't trust you. It's just, you're a Silver Mane Guard officer in the underground. There might be people looking to harm you. I wouldn't be surprised if there are. The Silver Mane Guards have a lot to make amends for down here. If someone had made a stand in the outset and explained the consequences to Madame Kokolia, to talk about it now. You don't need to worry about me. Oleg guaranteed that I wouldn't be harmed. He seemed like a man of his word. Go and rest. of it all. That voice again. Such a strange dream. May as well go for a walk if I can't sleep. Who goes there? Show yourself! Don't sneak up behind me next time. Lucky for you, I wasn't armed. 
No sleep for you either, huh? that weighs on your mind, the more your fears become dreamscapes. Actually, seeing as there's no one around, it, can I ask you some things? This Stellaron you speak of, if you were to find it, how sure are you that you could stop the Eternal Freeze? Your confidence actually makes me even more worried. This isn't like helping a child make a snowball. You know, it was difficult for me to believe you. Some of the words you use are too alien for those that have lived their entire life in Bellabog. As far as I was concerned, Madame Kakolia's order to arrest you sounded reasonable. But why didn't she issue it straight away? She must have realized something about you. Something I haven't yet been able to perceive for myself. It bothers me. What must have transpired to cause her such a drastic change? Ah, still, orders are orders. It's not for soldiers to question their superiors. to absolve me. The truth is, I didn't have every confidence that I was doing the right thing. In the past, overworld soldiers on the front line would lose their lives in droves. And yet, the Fragmentum's advance would remain unaffected. Nevertheless, that was her reason for deploying all the Silvermane guards to the front line. The transport line for supplies in Geomero remained open passage between the surface and the underground ceased. Huh. I approved of that decision. I never thought that the underworld would sink into such ruin without the Silverman guards. Perhaps Mother was wrong. Can I change her mind? I've tried, but she won't listen. I don't know how to get through to her. Help me change the mind of the Madam Guardian? <laughs> Not easy. But he knows that better than I do. Uh, the more I think about it, the more disoriented I get. Which in turn makes me think about it even more. I just want a better life for the people of Bellabog.
Maybe you're right. We're not. Right now, I... I just need more time to think. Walk with me. Let's forget our problems for a while. I can't remember the last time I went for a walk like this. I never thought I'd take one through such a strange place with someone I'd only just gotten to know. It's so quiet here. I'm not used to it. Ah, the quieter things are around you, the louder they are in your head. I'm surprised the vagrants in the Great Mine go after the mining teams. They must be desperate. Still, whatever their situation, a crime is a crime. How is the law supposed to find a balance? How much longer can you last with your current supplies? Is that Zila? Go take a look. I know. I'll go to Rivet Town and bring them back for you. It's too dangerous to go alone. Get Oleg to send someone with you. The rest of Wildfire has barely gotten any sleep the last few days. They should rest. They'd only be holding their eyelids open and slowing me down.
Besides, didn't you say some of the miners were gravely injured? Lives are on the line.
Aren't you supposed to be sleeping? What are you doing out here? Up to no good, perhaps? We're just having a walk neither of us could sleep. You can rescind your baseless accusations. <laughs> walk somewhere else, then. Easy, Zila. Maybe they can help. <laughs> I'm grateful. Here's the situation. The clinic is packed full of people injured in the mines incident. Since you helped us resolve things, Zila and I have been busy caring for them. As you know, the underground is lacking resources to begin with. Add on the sudden nature of the incident, and it's no surprise that the clinic is almost out of medical supplies. We need to acquire more... somehow.
The situation in other towns is even worse than ours. As the Fragmentum spreads underground, more monsters go roaming around, causing trouble for all the towns. That means more vagrants in the mines. The town's resources have been swallowed up by the Fragmentum. To get anything now, people have to risk their lives. Easy now, Zila. Anchor isn't good for one's health. Zila and I actually aren't from here. We both come from an industrial town to the north. A few I used to manage an orphanage, a clinic there. But after the Fragmentum corroded the area, I had no choice but to move here to Boulder Town. After all, I have to survive myself if I want to save more people. Go to a corroded town to collect some useful resources? I'm in. You want to come as well? But you look quite tired. Hold up. I never said you could join us. People's lives are at stake. Why wouldn't you want another person to help? Besides, I have some experience with the Fragmentums. I'm sure I will be of use. Well, just don't slow me down. Zila's lack of outright rejection means she approves of you. <laughs> With you all accompanying her, my mind will be more at ease. Come, let me give you a list of materials we need. The place you're going to is called Rivet Town. Follow the path through the mountains to the north for a bit, and you'll arrive there. <sighs> Let me think. Uh, 
I'm almost out of metal plates and bandages used for immobilizing broken bones. There's a market in the center of Rivet Town. Residents left behind piles of materials there when they evacuated. Please look for some there. Oh, also rubbing alcohol. I kept a bunch at the orphanage, since the kids often got into tussles. <laughs> I didn't bring it with me when I left. Oh, I hope it's still intact.
lastly, painkillers. There should be a bunch stored in the old lab. Hopefully they haven't been destroyed by monsters. These should be enough to get by for a bit longer. Be careful. Don't push yourselves too hard. Metal plates and bandages, rubbing alcohol, and painkillers. Got it. Piece of cake. Let's go. If we leave now, we can still make it back before sundown. When it comes to helping injured people groaning in pain, the sooner the better. By. Were you really planning on going into the Fragmentum alone? Of course. What's all the fuss about? I've done that loads of times. So reckless. According to the rules of the Silvermane Guards, any expedition into the Fragmentum must have a squad of at least four members, as well as a communications officer. Exactly. A rule of the Silvermane Guards. Don't apply your rules to us. Observe today. Hmm. Mm. Oh. hadn't run into you two, Zila would have had to vent- I know it's not her first rodeo, but the thought of her taking on those horrid monsters... I can't help but- Well, she grew up before my eyes, after all. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. Zila has been like this since she was little. Impulsive and eager to be the best. For people who don't know her, they might find her... difficult. But you can trust her, even with your life. Stick around a bit longer, and you'll see what I mean.
We're here. This is Rivet Town. Everything looks familiar. Let's go, and watch your step. I haven't been here in a long time. There are probably some monsters around. We can't see anything here. Let's find higher ground to get a better view. See that house on the hill? That's Natasha's old orphanage. After Oleg found me, he sent me there. I spent over half my childhood in that place. Natasha said that the house was donated by some rich businessman. Whatever his business may have been, he must have been a good person. I miss those carefree days as a kid. Huh. What? Nothing to say? No, it's just... This place seems familiar somehow. Uh, never mind. Weirdo. Look down there. See the mess that remains of those old stalls? That's Rivertown's market. The supplies Natasha wants are probably there. Keep moving. Watch out for monsters. Careful! Enemies ahead. These aren't like vagrants. They won't... Don't treat me like a new recruit. I'm all too familiar with the monsters of the Fragmentum. Let's get ready to fight. Uh... It's too late to repent. Let's go. 
Step aside. I have the truth of life and death revealed in it this century is but a vision. Break! You couldn't have done it without me. Clemency? Never heard of it. The time is now. I don't remember inviting you. <laughs> you have the worst luck running into- <sighs> Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! Ordained by the stars. Oh, profound secrets of the stars! Give these trailblazers your blessing! You have the worst luck running watch this! Let's make it better up! <laughs> it's too late! So done it without me.
Facilities here seem to be in pretty good shape. Not like those of a place that has been abandoned for years. Now that you mention it, it does seem a little... Could people still be living here? Impossible. Bunch of crates piled over there. Maybe we can find what we're looking for. 
Watch out for monsters. They like to hide. If you need to... It's too late to repent. A guest with no manners, The truth huh? of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! I don't remember inviting you. <laughs> you have the worst... Let up! Just a scratch. Rules are made to be broken! Major, welcome! Step aside. A guest with no manners, huh? Look out! Clemency? Never heard of it. I don't remember in <laughs> My turn. <sighs> this is our chance. Better up. Step aside. The truth of life and death, revealed in it this sanctuary, is but a vision. Clemency, the time is now. But I want to know more. Step aside. This can't be. Clemency? Never heard of it. The time is now. Scared yet? <laughs> A gift from the stars. You have the worst luck running into me. <sighs> 
Batter up! Step aside. I have no interest in <laughs> Everything is ordained by the stars. Oh, profound secrets of the stars! Give these trailblazers your blessing! My turn! Truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! Ch Monsters are gathering supplies? The monsters of the Fragmentum don't need any materials we humans use. And if they did take anything, this place would look much messier. You mean that someone else got here and took everything before us? It's just a guess, but there are also some footprints on the ground here. Hmm. The scent of dirt is still fresh. They can't have come too long before us. Let's go then. We need to find something, even if we have to search every corner of this market. Yourself. Oh, don't you know how dangerous this place is? Zila! Uh, you aren't the boss of me. I can go wherever I want. It's none of your beeswax. You took the materials and hid them all here. 
Not bad, kid. But if we didn't take care of those monsters, what were you planning to do? Just stay here, shaking in your boots? Who asked you to do anything? I was just about to escape. I didn't need your help at all. Still stubborn, huh? Then tell me, how exactly were you gonna get those big metal plates out of here past those monsters? Um, there's always a way. Don't let him fool you. Everyone in the underworld knows that this brat is a no-good thief. If I remember correctly, even the clothes you're wearing came off another kid's back. Uh, about that... Tell us, what do you even want metal plates and gauze bandages for? We need them to save people. Two hundred... What? Shield? Are you kidding me? You want to negotiate? Not much, but I didn't bring my coin purse. You're actually planning to give this little crook money? I I'm telling you, this is his same old trick. No! Not this time. Pretending to use your dad again as an excuse. If he knew about this, you'd be in big trouble. No! <laughs> Zila, that's enough. It's Eric, right? Here, you can have this. W what's this? This is a medal given to me by the architects. See that blue stone in the middle? That's a geomero crystal of the highest purity. You need money for your family, right? Take this and show it to a knowledgeable buyer, and they'll instantly know how valuable it is. Hey, thank you. I... But you'll have to promise me one thing. You'll never steal other people's things again. Promise? I promise, I'll never steal things again. Then it's a deal. If you go back on your promise, I'm going to bring my Silvermane guards with me and catch you myself. Here, take the medal and go back to the town. We already took care of any threat on the way. You'll be safe. Thank you. Whoever you are, you guys can take all of these things. Uh, you, you guys need to be careful, too. There seems to be something real scary in that house up on the hill. Oh, right! Uh, the road across from the market is blocked. If you want to go further, you'll have to go to the shopping street. Got it. Thanks for the tip. That object was pretty important to you, right? Are you sure you're okay? Just... Giving it to Eric like that? If it will make him change his ways, it's more than worth it. <laughs> what if he doesn't? From a young age, my mother taught me to be forgiving and to preserve the goodwill in people's hearts. Even if I am but a small glimmer of light in this world, I must try my best to shine brightly for others. I must give him a chance, Zila, because other people can't. <sighs> I don't really get what you just said. Anyway, <clears throat> we should get moving. Eric said that we need to take the shopping street to go any further. I think I still remember where it is. This way.
it all right. The orphanage should be at the end. These shops and signs, when do I feel like I've seen them before? But when? My turn. Watch this. Curious. The truth of life and death, revealed in this sanctuary, is but a vision. You have the worst.
take more than that. Careless. <laughs> <laughs> Go away! Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. The time is now. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision. Right. My turn. have done it without me. Ordained by the stars. Oh, profound secrets of the stars! Give these trailblazers your blessing! Clemency? Never heard of it. I don't remember him.
Stay right there while I give you a present. Look out.
carefully. You have the worst luck, Rena. <sighs> I don't want to be alone. This can't be. Clemency, never. Look out! Step aside. The time is now. This will strengthen our position. This will strengthen our position. Entrance to the orphanage is up this way. I wonder what the old place is like now. Maybe some things will still look familiar. These stairs they seem to have become more narrow. Clemency, 
never heard of it. Step aside. I have no interest in Zatanna now. Look out! Watch this! Better up! So this is... defeat. Oh. Clemency? <laughs> the truth of life and death revealed this century. It's but a vision! But I want to know more. It's too late. Stop. <sighs> Past victories don't guarantee future ones. This will strengthen our position.
剑。Clemency? Never heard of it. <laughs> A gift from the stars. Running into me. Stay right there while I give you a present. Let's make it quick. I have no interest in Stop. <laughs> A gift from the stars. <laughs> Clemency? Never heard of it. A guest with no man to look out.
With me out here, how can we lose? Let's go. Who's next? The truth of life and death, revealed in this century, is but a vision! <sighs> Past victories don't guarantee future ones. Almost there. I didn't expect this place to be so well preserved. You know, if we could have worked together to push back the Fragmentum, maybe we wouldn't have had to take off and leave our homes behind. place hasn't changed one bit. It looks like there's a lot of stuff piled outside. Let's go see if there's any rubbing alcohol for Nat. These crates have been sitting here for many years, right? Even if they have materials in them, are you sure they are still usable? <laughs> Do you think undergrounders care about expiration dates? Even having any supplies is a miracle in itself. No. No. Empty. How are they all empty? Who could have... Careful! Enemy behind you! I've only seen this kind of monster before in the restricted zone. <laughs> I don't care how big you are. You dare sneak up on us from behind. This is it for you, pal! Move carefully. Inviting you. <laughs> A gift from the stars. Everything is ordained by the stars. Oh, profound secrets of the stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. You have the worst luck running into me. Check out this awesome move. With me out here, how can we lose? Better up. Uh, rules are made to be broken. Clemency? A guest with no to look out! You have the worst luck running into me! <laughs> Oh, 
told you I could fight. The truth of life and death, revealed in this century, is but a vision! Break! Look out! My turn! Stay right there while I give you a present! Step aside. Gotta I have no interest sometimes. in social conflict. Check out this awesome move! A guest with no- <laughs> Have the worst luck running into me. With me out here, how can we lose? The time is now. Clemency? Never. I don't want to be alone. Step aside. I have no interest. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This century is but a vision. on by myself but still fighting alongside you two was pretty fun <sighs> should be all clear now let's poke around the kids at the orphanage were always getting into scraps when we played out here if I remember it right there ought to be some supplies for our cuts and bruises stored in that corner there I just hope the monster didn't get to them wasn't my imagination. Huh? What are you talking about? This building? This playground equipment? I've seen it all before. <laughs> what? Come on. The overground and underground have been sealed off from each other for over ten years. It would have been news if a Silvermane guard had come down here, let alone an overworld princess. Wait, unless... before that... Yes, it's a possibility. That would explain why my memory of it is so blurry. Come on, I need to look around a bit more before I can be sure. memories. I still remember one time I swung super high and everyone was scared I would fly off. Who knew swinging could be so intense? At the 
time, I wanted to swing myself into the sky and fly up to the overworld. So dangerous. You're lucky to have lived till now. <laughs> Aren't we all, though? What's up here? Some kind of toy? Yep. You pick. Red or blue? Hmm. Blue. <laughs> Look at this. After over ten years, the teeth marks are still here. Teeth marks? <laughs> All right, well, this one time, a big kid was trying to steal this toy from me. I couldn't out wrestle him for it, so I just bit down hard and hung on for dear life. Hmm, how boorish. Hey, where are you going? Let's look around the orphanage first. We've looked everywhere but here. I hope my memory is right. Ah, yes, we found it. Great, it's barely damaged. Nat wouldn't have expected her old supplies from years ago to have stayed in such good condition. You should still check the expiration date for things like rubbing alcohol. If it's expired, it won't be effective. Hmm, true. Let me check a few bottles. Huh? What's this? This is... This is... Something from when I was a child. When you were a child? Are you sure? no such coincidence in this world. I remember now. I, I used to live here. Before the architects took me away, be, before Madame Cocolia adopted me, I used to live here. I'm an undergrounder. You're an undergrounder? Wait a minute. You're saying that Cocolia, the Supreme Guardian, adopted you? Then... Yes. I'm the successor chosen by the architects. In the future, I will become the guardian who leads Bellabog. <sighs> Why? Why didn't I remember this until now? My childhood memories... said that the Guardian's successor is selected from among all people in Bellabog. The selection process can take anywhere from a few years to a few decades. During that time, all children of the appropriate age in both the Overworld and the Underworld will be tested. In the end, only one child deemed as worthy will be chosen. must have been chosen from among the children here and then taken to the surface. The kids at the orphanage are always coming and going. I never thought that there would have been a future supreme guardian among us. Does Nat know about this? Could she have been keeping it a secret? I don't think she knows. The selection of the successor is done with utmost secrecy. And the child chosen must completely say goodbye to their past. Unless 
I became the daughter of Madame Cacolia. My only identity is that of guardian successor. But I'm not good enough. Every day I see Silvermane guards sacrifice their lives in the Fragmentum. But I've never had the resolve to try to change Mother's mind. The Underworld has been struggling, but I never tried to help. I didn't even know that it was my own home that had fallen into such a dire state. In the end, I haven't been able to guard anything. Hey, are you done? Huh? Well, well, well. So annoying. I... What? <laughs> what? You thought I should feel sorry for you after your little speech? You can hide in your palace while you fuss over your overworld problems. And on the front line, it's not even you who's putting their life in danger. But in the underworld, what do we worry about? If we'll have food for our next meal, or survive to the next week? Even if I am but a small glimmer of light in this world, I must try my best to shine brightly for others. Didn't you say that? Well, if you really want to protect everyone, what are you standing here crying for? Get to it! You're right. You're right. Self-pity doesn't help solve anything. Thank you, Sila. Usually when I feel sorry for myself, I am met with gentle consolation. Never has anyone dared to be tough and make me snap out of it. <laughs> I'm no good at consoling, but I can hit you on the head a few times, no problem. I can tell that you have a big burden to carry. Why do you force yourself to? As the successor to the Guardian of Balabog, I must always be vigilant of my behavior and thoughts. Yeah, yeah, Lady Branya. <laughs> Miss Future Supreme Guardian comes from the same orphanage as me. Who thought it would be a good idea to put us together, huh? How about I show you around the orphanage a bit more? Unlike you, my memories from when I was little are crystal clear. Okay. I'll indulge in old memories with you for a while. I should let those two be alone for that. The only thing left to find is painkillers. I'll see if there's any nearby. I should let those two be alone for a bit. The only thing left to find is painkillers. I'll see if there's any nearby. Mention it, Clara. Warning. Warning. Danger detected.
Protect Clara. Initiating active defense mode. Perkins, don't! Stop! I've seen this person before. He... he's not bad, right? Command proceed. Danger removed. Deactivating active defense mode. This place is dangerous. You should leave. Oh! I came here for these painkillers, too. There are a lot of people hurt at the Vagrant Camp. I guess the miners are no different? <sighs> if everyone could just get along, things would be easier. Mm. Here you are. I hope the medicine is of help to you. Mr. Svara, he... He's my family. I met Mr. Sparg when I was real little. He took me in and took care of me. I'm really sorry about what happened back in the Great Mine. Mr. Sparg doesn't trust any humans besides me. Especially everyone from Wildfire. He heard that the miners and vagrants had begun to engage in a large-scale conflict. He wanted to stop everyone from getting hurt fighting over the mines. Wildfire wants everyone to leave the underground. But Mr. Sparov wants everyone to stay here. According to his calculations, the overground is already unsafe. Yes! At least according to Mr. Svarag's calculations. He says that his responsibility is preservation. To do that, he must make decisions that best protect humanity. I know that Wildfire wants to talk to Mr. Svarag, but no matter how many times you talk to him, Mr. Svarag won't change his mind. So please trust me. I'll try to persuade Mr. Svarov. Hopefully one day he'll finally listen. Clara! What are you doing here? You're... Miss Sila from Wildfire. I came here to... Why are you helping the Vagrants look for medicine? If they're so great, how could they make a little girl go around running errands for them? N no it's not like that. I wasn't made to do anything. It's just that the living conditions for the Vagrants aren't great. There's not even a clinic in their camp, so I wanted to help them out. Also, not all of them are bad people. Everyone just wants to survive. <laughs> Miss Sila? Did this medicine belong to Miss Natasha? Then... Can you give me some? The Vagrant's injuries are quite serious. See. Let's split these painkillers then. R really? We don't need to ask Miss Natasha first? If I know Nat, she won't mind. Although, this will make it more difficult for us. She'll understand. She always does. Great! Thank you, Miss Sila. Are you leaving? This old town is too dangerous. We'll accompany you part of the way. It, it's fine. I have Perkins for company. And... 
I have some more things I need to look for here first. Understood. Be careful, though. <laughs> 